From mysterious structures in the deep desert that baffle researchers to a strange tomb with an unsettling design, here are eight archaeological discoveries scientists can't explain. Ancient Stone Tools Every scientist who has ever set out on an expedition hopes that the objects they find can answer some questions of ancient humans, but a discovery in India in 2018 could possibly upend our view of Stone Age humans in Asia. In what is now southern India, ancient innovators ditched their hand axes and cleavers and took up flakes of stone to cut meat and to tip their spears. Similar changes occurred in Africa to the ancestors of modern humans around the same time, but something discovered in the soil layers from some 250,000 years ago showed that this transition between tools occurred far earlier than it did other sites in India. This discovery changes the date of the Middle Paleolithic culture in the region by more than 100,000 years. This could reshape how scientists view how humans and their ancient relatives spread across the world, migrating out of Africa some 60,000 years ago. The discovery shows that the populations were present in most parts of southern Asia adapted to local factors, changing their tools through time. It also shows how ancient humans lived in South Asia where there is not much of the fossil record to be studied. More than 90% of humans today have descended from a small population of Homo sapiens that left Africa between 60,000 and 125,000 years ago. As these early humans fanned out and reached the tip of South America about 18,000 years ago, they carried with them stone tools that were better than stone hand axes and cleavers used by an earlier culture. But this find gives more evidence to the theory that multiple waves of humans left Africa before the migration shown in our modern collective DNA. This suggests that modern humans left earlier than previously thought. This discovery also helps to shed some light on India's ancient humans who are mostly understudied with only two ancient hominin fossils ever found in the region. But answers like this don't come quickly. The team who discovered this missing part of the puzzle has been digging through 30 feet of sediment one inch at a time for more than 20 years. Luckily, their hard work has paid off and a new piece of the ancient human puzzle can now be fitted into place with the others that make up the entire picture of humanity's evolution. Mysterious Structures in Saudi Arabia In the west central region of Saudi Arabia, almost 400 mysterious stone structures were discovered gaping across old lava domes. Dating back thousands of years, these wall-like formations are still a mystery, with researchers questioning their purpose, their age, and why they were built. Originally discovered by satellite images, the gates are located on the side of a volcanic dome that once spewed lava. Built from stone, the gates are believed to be the oldest man-made structures in the landscape with no explanation for their purpose. The smallest extends about 43 feet 13 meters, while the longest is almost 1,700 feet 520 meters long. Many of them have multiple stone walls that form a rectangular design. Although no archaeological fieldwork has been conducted on the gates, more study will need to be undertaken to determine what they are and when they were built. So what exactly were these gates built for? Considering the fact that each one appeared to lead towards domes of lava and lava was most likely active at the time they were built, could they have been used as a channel to direct the lava away from other important structures? With lava periodically flowing over the sides of the domes to create fields of cooling molten stone, it's possible that these walls were created to prevent the fumes and devastating effects of the lava from the fields, which are teeming with archaeological remains. With some of the stone walls buried beneath the lava flows, it is obvious they are quite old. And since they are not high enough to restrain livestock, researchers will need to excavate and see if there's anything else below the shifting sands and rubble to determine their origin. Strange Siberian Figurine You might not expect a 5,000-year-old figurine from a prehistoric culture to be discovered in a field in Siberia, but in 2017 a puzzling discovery was made of a strange figure. Discovered at a prehistoric burial site, the figurine is of what researchers believe could be a deity wearing possibly a halo. Made from an unknown organic material, the interesting relic was found in an old potato field where Neolithic and Late Bronze Age settlements were discovered. The reason why the figurine is so interesting is that feathered headgear isn't familiar to archaeological sites in ancient Siberia. They are more common in the Middle East and from 1,000 to 2,000 years later than the site where it was located. 
But the feathered headdress figurine is not the only interesting find made in the potato field. Another figurine of a bird made from bone as well as anthropomorphic figurines made from mammoth tusks were also discovered there. Other figurines of a moose made from shell were also unearthed, and the fact that the smaller figurines had holes in them led researchers to believe they were sewn onto clothes of their original owners. Belt buckles made from bone and small sculptures were also found by archaeologists on some of the male burials. The site is believed to be dated to the 3rd millennium BCE, but some of the stone implements found there from the Neolithic Age could be as old as the 4th millennium BCE. Experts believe the main ancient burial ground was from the Kratovo culture from the Middle Bronze Age, but researchers need more time to assess the location to determine its true origin. Could you imagine aliens finding your action figures or dolls buried in a field 5,000 years from now? What other weird stuff do you think future archaeologists might find from our society that will make them scratch their heads? Let me know in the comments below, then be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay up to date with all these awesome videos. Petroglyphs in India Archaeologists were understandably excited at the discovery of rock carvings believed to be tens of thousands of years old in India's western state of Maharashtra. Known as petroglyphs, the rock carvings were discovered on hills in the Konkan region. Etched on the rocky, flat hilltops, the carvings have gone unnoticed for thousands of years, and with thousands of the carvings discovered, archaeologists have a number of clues to sift through. Hidden beneath layers of soil and mud, the carvings are believed to be holy and worshipped by locals in some areas. With animals, birds, human figures, and geometrical designs all depicted, they are stunningly similar to petroglyphs found in other parts of the world from prehistoric cultures. Archaeologists believe they could have been created about 10,000 BC and with petroglyphs found in 52 villages in the area, the race is on to study and preserve them. Believed to have been created by a hunter-gatherer community, none of the pictures detail any farming activities but instead show hunted animals. With so many familiar animals including sharks and whales as well as amphibians and turtles, surprisingly none of the petroglyphs depict any animals like hippos or rhinoceroses. The question remains then, who created them and were they indigenous people or did they come from another place? Luckily, the state government set aside a fund of $3.2 million to further study hundreds of the identified petroglyphs with the hopes that these petroglyphs will shed some light on India's ancient peoples. Utah's Cryptica Cave Paintings after spending most of his life moving cattle through a remote valley in Utah, a man named Waldo Wilcox decided to sell his property back to the state. In doing so, it allowed archaeologists to visit the strange site, and they ended up finding extensive ruins that were so well preserved they offered a glimpse into the state's past. After setting up a research camp, scientists set out to excavate the site at Range Creek, uncovering a plethora of archaeological riches that the eccentric landowner guarded for decades. Traces of the largest villages were found on the canyon floor that indicated a flourishing settlement once located there, with pit houses and granaries that were built high into the cliffs that may have been used as a defensive retreat. By being able to excavate the location at Range Creek, researchers hope to find why farming suddenly halted across much of the southwest seven centuries ago. As tribes abandoned their ancestral pueblos, experts believe that warfare, drought, disease, and religious upheaval might have caused the exodus. But in researching the ranch, they found petroglyphs, granaries with corn cobs a thousand years old, and intact pit houses that gave a unique snapshot at the enigmatic Fremont people who were mobile hunters and farmers who lived in Utah from around AD 200 to 1300 before they disappeared completely. Located up a rutted logging road that curves 4,000 feet 1,250 meters along sheer cliffs, the site has hundreds of granaries that range from cabinet size to several yards across, and some that are so high in the cliffs they are only visible with binoculars. Located within juniper and sage groves, a large indented stone known as a medit that was used to grind corn and seed was also found there. With so many granaries, an archaeologist excavating the site calculated that some housed hundreds of bushels of maize. Imagine the original people that lived on this land who would have to have made hundreds of trips climbing the sheer cliffs loaded with baskets on their back. 
Unfortunately, the site also holds a bit of controversy. When the news media first started covering the Range Creek story, local tribes such as the Northern Ute, who claim affiliation to the Fremont, were angry that archaeologists had not told them anything about the site. As researchers and tribal leaders squared off over who held the rights to the archaeological finds on the site, the debate over human remains that have been found on the site flared up too. So far, five sets of human remains have been found either on the ranch property or nearby, and all the local tribes have been notified researchers have not touched the remains. But the real mystery of the site is the fact that around 1350 AD, all physical remainders or ties to the Fremont people, including their distinctive sandals, baskets, and pottery, disappeared from the archaeological record. So did the Fremont people move on from this location? Some scientists have uncovered potential evidence of Fremont hearths in dwellings in northwestern Colorado. It's possible the hunter-gatherers moved on to more fruitful lands, but until researchers can continue to excavate this site, its treasures hidden underground will remain puzzle pieces that scientists cannot yet put back together. Ukraine's Crab-like Ancient Site a mysterious earthwork structure known as Meridius Square was discovered in the village in Ukraine. Unusually shaped, the mysterious structure looks like a giant crab or spider. At its center, there is a huge circle with a deep basin, which has three openings cut into the walls of the circle at the northeast, the west, and the southern side. Extending out from the center circle, there are four extensive earthen ramps that lead in curvy lines to smaller sections in the basin, believed to have been used for ritualistic events. With one of the ramps measuring 213 feet long, this gives you an idea of the scope of the circular structure, which is believed to measure 131 feet 40 meters in diameter at the top of the basin. The first studies of the site were carried out in 1987 by an archaeologist. In 2001, the second group of researchers flew over the square in hang gliders to get an aerial view of the structure. It was not until 2004 when archaeological excavations were conducted around the square and five burial grounds were excavated that dated to the end of the 4th millennium BC. Skeletons found in the burials belonged to the Indo-European community, leading researchers to suggest that Meridius Square was built by them as a temple to pray to and sacrifice to their gods. Because the sun sets in the center of one of the valleys of Meridius Square on the day of the vernal equinox, they also believe it could have been used as an astronomical observatory. Some also suggest that Meridius Square could have been built by the Cossacks as a defense structure, which would have helped them protect themselves from raids by Turks. One of the more interesting features of the site is the fact that it acts as a magnificent amplifier of sound. If you were to stand in the basin of the center of the site and whisper, whatever you say would be heard clearly at the top of the structure without a microphone. Perhaps the structure of the basin, which resembles a deep bowl, was used by the original peoples to transmit sounds that way. It would have made for a stunning setting during rituals. The design of the site, though, still raises some questions. Why was it built in the shape of a crab? Some believe that it could have been constructed at the time when the sun was in the constellation of Cancer, which would actually put it at being built in 8305 BC. Rare Female Mummy it is not often that international media gets a front row seat at the opening of an ancient sarcophagus, but in 2018, Egyptian officials opened an ancient tomb that was found in Luxor, revealing a well-preserved female mummy believed to be more than 3,000 years old. Located in one of two separate coffins found in the same tomb in an Egyptian necropolis on the west bank of the Nile, the woman was found inside a tomb that dates to Egypt's Middle Kingdom nearly 4,000 years ago. Located within the same tomb, a mummy in the second sarcophagus was a priest that was known to have survived the embalming of several pharaohs. The necropolis is located between the royal tombs in the Valley of the Queens and the Valley of the Kings, and it took five months to clear 1,000 feet 300 meters of rubble to uncover the tomb. But the sarcophagi were not the only treasures to be found. The tomb's owner and his family members were depicted in vividly colored paintings on the ceiling. There were also other mummies, skeletons, and skulls, as well as 1,000 statuettes made from wood and clay. X-Shaped Tomb A tomb recently discovered in China had a curious shape that any gamers will know very well. The mysterious X-Shaped Tomb looked strikingly similar to the Xbox logo. Originally believed to have been posted as a marketing stunt, the tomb actually belongs to the Chinese Qin Dynasty, who ruled from 221 BC to 206 BC, considered the first dynasty of Imperial China. 
The first emperor of a unified China, Qin Shi Huang, became China's first emperor when he was 38 after he conquered all of the other warring states. During his reign, the size of the Chinese state expanded. Known for banning and burning books and executing scholars, the emperor is said to have feared death and tried to seek out a fabled elixir of life that would help him to live forever. Obsessed with acquiring immortality, he is said to have fallen prey to many who offered him supposed elixirs that never worked. Could this temple have been used in his search for immortality? It probably was not used as his burial tomb, as the emperor is actually buried deep under a hill in central China surrounded by an underground moat of poisonous mercury. Qin Shi Huang is well known for more than 8,000 clay soldiers found by farmers in 1974 who were digging wells near Xi'an, China. Life-size terracotta soldiers, an army of thousands, each had unique clothing, hair, and facial features. One can't help but wonder what mysterious relics are just waiting to be unearthed from the strange X-shaped temple. Which of these discoveries got your mind racing the most? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, check out another impressive video or two, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.